Welcome to the Auraria campus, home of Metropolitan State University of Denver. My name is Tana Chavez, and my teammates and I are excited to welcome you onto our campus. Nestled in downtown Denver, our campus combines modern technology with historical landmarks to create a unique environment for academic excellence. Our campus is the most unique campus because it is a tri-institutional campus, sharing with CU Denver and Community College of Denver. We are proud to be the most diverse campus in the state of Colorado. We're going to start off this campus tour by showing you one of MSU Denver's most iconic buildings, the Tivoli Student Union. Something really exciting about our student union is that it was once a brewery established in 1864. Today, you could still find an active brewery on our campus here at the TIV, and you could also major in brewing. The Tivoli is a great place to grab a bite to eat at the food court. We also have the bookstore upstairs, and you could also go to the food pantry that gives a generous amount of food to all the students here at the campus. We are now in the PE building. You could catch the men's and women's basketball team playing here as well as the volleyball team. Upstairs we have the sports management classes as well as the athletic training and the exercise science. The PE building is home to one of the two athletic training rooms here on our campus. This training room is home to our new Alter G treadmill. Hi, my name is Brendan and I'm going to be showing you around our science building. So here we house the anatomy, biology, and chemistry labs as well as other science-based classrooms. And a cool little Easter egg about this building is we have a butterfly made of test tubes. And now we're going to show you around the library. Check it out. There are many amazing things that our library on campus offers. So we have a lot of anatomy models that you can check out if you need them to study. You can also rent out books and then you will also find that we have some recording equipment if you say wanted to make a podcast. So the library is also a really cool space if you want to study, prepare for class projects, or even meet up with some of your classmates. One thing that's really cool is we have these study booths right here where you can meet up, just converse about different things, plan group projects out, and we also have some TVs where you can practice your presentation. And this is the Innovation Garage where any of our students can access 3D printers and large-scale printers. We are now located at our JSSB building, which is home to many of our main offices on campus, such as our admissions office, financial aid, student orientation also happens here, our international student office, and we also have a lot of tutoring services that we offer here on campus for students who may need it. In our JSSB, we also have a few classrooms open to our freshman or general education students. And those classrooms are going to be a little bit bigger, but our average class size is around 20. And sometimes they can be a little bit smaller once you get into your more major specific classes. One of the benefits of having a smaller class size is that you have a more desirable student to teacher ratio. So you get a lot more attention and you have more individual needs met by your professors who are more than willing to work with you. Hi, my name is Peyton and this is the admin building. The admin building is also home of the MSU Denver College of Business. And here is our athletic offices where you can find Coach Amanda and Coach Janice and also our study hall rooms. Over this way when you first walk in is study hall. Freshmen have to do four hours of study hall their first semester and then after that depending on your GPA will depend on if you have to continue. Over this way is the coach's office. This is where you can sign in for study hall. They have some resources for you for tutoring in the writing center and the door is always open to talk. 
Right now, I'm standing in the middle of campus. Over here, we have the King Center, we have the Health Center and the Library. And to my left, we have the West and Central Classroom. Now we're gonna head to the 9th Street Historic District. Our campus used to be the city of Auraria. And when it was built, they wanted to preserve its history, so they left these houses and some other historical buildings. If you want some really good Mexican food on campus, Los Molinos is a really good option, and our team really loves it. Behind me are the West and Central classrooms, home to a variety of different majors. Another cool thing about our campus is in the West classroom, they're building the new Health Institute Simulation Labs, so that nursing students can get hands-on experience. This is the Emanuel Gallery. It is the oldest religious building in the state of Colorado, and it now serves as an art gallery on campus. Now we're in the Student Hospitality Center, where they have brewing education and cooking lab kitchens. And this is the Spring Hill Suites Hotel that is on campus, and it is operated by our hospitality program. Hey recruits, my name is Corey. I'll be showing you the Aerospace and Engineering Sciences building, or the AES building as we like to call it. It's the newest building on campus and it's home to engineering, computer sciences, and industrial design students. As soon as you come into the building, you'll see that we have a bunch of partners that work with our school. And uh, these are great opportunities for seniors to actually go straight into the industry. Uh, York Space Systems actually is on the fourth floor upstairs and they're a defense contractor that loves working with engineers that come to our school. This room is the textiles lab. This is where we learn about fabrics and how to make them using sewing machines. I, as an industrial design student, I actually spend a lot of time in this room because I'm wanting to make backpacking and trail running gear. We have a bunch of resources like the textiles lab, which we're in right now, the woods lab, metals lab, and also a plastics lab. All of these allow us to create models and things that we need to create the products that we might want to see uh, out in the wild. This is a display case of projects that students have done for the industrial design program, including myself. I created this backpack for hiking use. Um, students have used and acquired skills in classes in order to create these things, uh, whether that was with foam, cardboard, fabrics as you can see. Something really cool to see inside this building is a project created by engineering students. Uh, worked with Lockheed Martin in a partnership to create a full-scale model of the Orion spacecraft. Uh, they created this with the help of having professors who were able to be in the industry or just having been in the industry, which is an amazing opportunity we have with MSU Denver to be able to go right into the industry if need be, and also having professors that have experience in what they're actually talking about. Hi, I'm Heidi, and this is Lynx Crossing, which is the shared dormitory between CU Denver, MSU Denver, and Community College of Denver. So I'm an RA. I've lived in the dorms for three years now. And so as part of being an RA, I have a nice studio, but all new freshmen that live in the dorm, they typically get four bedrooms with two bathrooms. So you share a bathroom with a person, but you have your own bedroom. And so this is my dorm. This is the kitchen area. And so all rooms, if you move into one of these, will come with a stove. You'll get your own dishwasher that you'll share in a common space. And then they'll share a fridge that you'll share with your three other roommates. And then you'll get even more actually cabinet space. But since I'm in a studio, I just have two little cabinets. And then it comes with a dining room set. This is provided. And so that would have four chairs instead of two. And then we'll move on to the bedroom area. And so all rooms will have a desk. You'll have your own desk like this. And then you get two dresser drawers that you can stack or you can just leave unstacked. I have one here and one there. 
And then the bed provided would be a full size bed. So this is a twin bed. So it'd be actually bigger than this. Um, and then you have your bathroom, which would be shared with two spaces for each resident. All right, before we leave this building, it's really important to note that we have two dining halls. This is one of the dining halls here. It's at Lynx Crossing and all freshmen must have a meal plan. I think the lowest meal plan you have to have is like 10 meals a week. So you come use your meals here. And then there's another dining hall, which is more of a traditional buffet style, dorm style, which is across campus at the other freshman dorms. But MSU students are not allowed there to live, but you can use your meal swipes there and get meals there. And here we just have burgers and um, french fries, those kind of fast food things. There's also a Starbucks here. I use all my meal swipes for Starbucks. That's basically where all my meal swipes go to. And just a quick convenient place to go get, you know, pasta and just basic necessities up in here. As we're leaving the dorms, an important factor to notice is that there's a light rail station right here and the dorms are right there. So you're right next to a light rail station that will take you a four minute train ride to downtown. So living here without a car is definitely doable. So this is our aviation, aerospace, and cybersecurity building. What is really unique is that we are one of only 31 or 32 schools in the nation that offers an air traffic control degree. My degree is in air traffic control, so I spend a lot of time here. In addition to air traffic control, we provide students, you can get a professional flight, so pro pilot degree, an aircraft dispatch degree, or an airport management degree here, which is really unique because not many colleges offer that. And we have state-of-the-art flight simulators to include that as well. All right, so this is probably one of the coolest rooms in all of campus is we have uh, 28 flight simulators all in this room. And so we have single engine and twin engine flight simulators that you can practice on. Students who are pro flight will typically take about two to three simulation classes. I've taken two classes. You'll come in here and they'll just basically teach you how to fly. You'll practice, have to practice different routes, different types of uh, organizations and lines, all in these simulators. The best thing about this is if you crash, it's better learning mistakes in here than out there. And it's just a great way to really expose yourself to the real world of flying. As we show more of the building, some important things to note is that we have three prominent clubs, aviation themed clubs. We have Women in Aviation, which I'm a part of, Alpha Eta Rho, which is an aviation fraternity. And then we have our flight team, which has actually beaten Air Force before um, in different flying events. Really cool thing that MSU Denver does is that they are really close to Denver International Airport, which is the third busiest airport in the world. And so there are many opportunities to intern at DIA. As we wrap up touring the aviation building, if you have any interest in the aviation industry, definitely come to MSU Denver. It's a great opportunity. Classes are very inexpensive compared to other aviation colleges, and you have the opportunity to run. So I had the great opportunity to run, have a great college athletic career, as well as start my professional aviation career. And it's just been the best opportunity. Hi, I'm Coach Amanda and I'm here to show you the Assembly Athletic Complex. This is where we have our weight room, training room, and our student athlete lounge. So come on and follow me. So this is our weight room. We work out here twice a week after our running practices and we have a lot of really nice brand new equipment in here. Tons of different racks, a lot of different hurdles for plyos. Typical strength exercises in here like squats, deadlifts, bench press, but a lot of other injury prevention, stability and core exercises and plyos in here. This is just for student athletes, so when we're in here, it's just our cross country team. All right, so this is our athletic training room, one of two of our training rooms that we have here on campus. We have hot tubs, cold tubs, ice machine, 
stem, ultrasound, we can do uh, scraping, Normatec sleeves, all kinds of stuff, pretty much anything you could need. And we have a dedicated trainer who works with our track and cross country teams. And then next we'll go upstairs and check out the student athlete lounge. This is our student athlete lounge. It's a great place to get some studying done, um, catch up with friends, hang out between classes. And then we also have our multi-purpose room over here where we do a lot of our full team meetings. We bring in nutritionists, psychologists, um, all different speakers to talk with our track and cross country teams throughout the year. And then this also overlooks our soccer fields where we do a lot of our off-season speed work when we want to get in some speed but not be on the track. Well, that concludes our campus tour. Thank you so much for following us around, and we can't wait to see you here very soon. Get rowdy.